so this is stage 2 in which we have incorporated the angle of the HP as well we will give nomenclature to the same you can see clearly visible difference as we have implemented 30 degree angle over here over here the size of size between C and D is reduced rest size are same because it is tilted at 30 degrees the nomenclature would be same A B C D and E now we will proceed further to the stage 3 where in this stage 3 angle of HP will be incorporated with the angle of VP angle of VP is given as 45 degrees angle of VP is given as 45 degrees so below XY line at any point I will mark an reference line at 45 degrees below xy line uh, marked a line on 45 degrees this is angle with VP now of stage 2 I need to do replica of the same so how I can do this I will just put the arcs one by one and then I will get the replica of the same first of all I will consider point A at any location point A at any location then taking AB as radius and marking its arc I have got the point number B as well now this distance between A and its midpoint mark draw a perpendicular line to this point very light line of perpendicular line to mark point D we have got this midpoint distance till the D now we have got point D A B and D we have got these three points with respect to this we can have E and C take A E as radius A as center put an arc take B C as radius B as center put an arc take D E as radius D as center arc on both the side join them and you will get the perfect replica of this angle with HP incorporated this would be C and this would be E I have got complete replica of this angle with HP over here tilted at 45 degrees now we need to take this vertical projections from each of this point make sure that your projections are perpendicular to this XY line from each of the points you need to take the projections matching with the tilted line of this horizontal plane marking the point as and required A with A 
B with B, C with C, E with E and D with D. If you have got five points, join it with the scale when a thin pentagonal plate is 30 degrees to the HP and 45 degrees to the VP it will look like this so this is our final output product this is a triple dash B triple dash C triple dash D triple dash and E triple dash make sure that you are just connecting respective line only B will connect to the B point only A will connect to the A point only C to C E to E and D to D so this is how you can complete stage 3 of the projections of a plane stage 1 would be initial position we are having a pentagon plate of 30 mm side each the, so first of all we have drawn this pentagon using three circle method taken the projections on this xy line we have got this line length we will now proceed further to the stage 2 in the stage 2 we have incorporated angle with hp in this angle with hp is given as 30 degrees so we have this tilted this line at 30 degrees to get it projections perfectly taken a dash to d dash as radius putting protector over here marking an arc similarly for obtaining c and e as well taking its vertical projections below matching with this horizontal projections we will get stage 2 pentagonal disc now in the third stage we need to incorporate angle with hp projection to the angle of vp now in the example we have been given angle of vp is 45 degrees so below xy line we have drawn a line at 45 degrees we have captured complete replica of this stage 2 on this 45 degrees line by cutting various arcs now taking its vertical projections above xy line matching it with this 30 degree line will have our final product make sure that you are matching proper line only if you look at the question then you will see that one of its side is resting on the hp if we remember the projections of a plane or projections of a line if anything is resting on hp which means that it will be lying on the xy line so if you, you can see that ab line is lying in the xy line so this is how we can complete our projections of a plane we'll see the next problem construct a pentagon in a circle of 50 mm diameter now in the 50 mm diameter we need to construct a circle this we'll see in the three circle method first of all we'll draw a 50 mm line as we need to draw a circle diameter of 50 mm so first of all we are going to draw a line of 50 mm naming it AB taking A as radius A as center AB as radius drawing a circle on the another side taking B as center AB as radius drawing second circle 
where this both circle intersects with each other on the lower side we will make that center as center number o we will make it center o now from this center o we will draw three third circle radius would be the same ab would be the radius we will draw third circle we will draw third circle as well we will draw center line from its middle where both the circles are intersecting with each other where this bisector line intersects with this third circle we will call it as O1 these two points as below two points as PQ this is P this is Q we will draw a line passing from P O1 extending towards the end of this circle same way Q O1 extend it towards the end of this circle we will see how we can do that likewise P O1 extending towards the end of the circle same way Q O1 extending towards the circle we have got two points let's name it E and C join C with B and E with A we have got three sides now we need to take two side we need to draw remaining two sides taking BC as radius C as center marking an arc taking AE as radius E as center marking an intersecting arc BC as radius C as center arc same way A E as radius E as center mark an intersecting arc please note that that intersecting arc will be directly on the center line itself if you have not mistaken about anything So we have got this point number D. We will give the dimension to it. That this pentagon side is of 50 mm. So this is how we can draw a pentagonal side having 50 mm three circle because it's incorporate incorporated with three circle a as center a b as radius draw one first circle b as center a b as radius another circle where this both circle intersects on the lower side mark point o take o as center a b as radius draw third circle where this circle interacts with the bisecting line mark point O and P and Q draw a line passing through P O 1 extending towards the end of the circle where this line touches the circle name it C join C same way on another side you will get point E join with A E now taking A E as radius making an arc on the center line 
same way from the another side cs center marking a arc on the center line we will get the point number d so this is how you can draw a pentagon using three circle method we will see our next method a thin plate of 40 mm diameter its diameter ab is inclined 30 degree to hp and another diameter cd is perpendicular to ab and it is inclined to 45 degree to vp we need to draw the projections again this problem is about projections of a plane now we will see step by step procedure of the same it is a circular plate so first of all we need to take a xy line and then we need to draw a circle of diameter 40 mm I am plotting 40 mm diameter below xy line forty mm diameter is below xy line so radius would be twenty mm radius would be 20 mm we need to only divide this circle into four equal parts only one diameter would be ab and another diameter would be cd this is ab and this is CD. This is stage one. This is stage one. Initial position. We need to take.